How's it going, everybody? My name is Sniperman1109, and today we are back with another episode of Project Zomboid. Last episode, we finally built shelter. Oh my gosh, here it is. It took a long time to build. I mean, just... We were having problems. We ha I had to grind really hard to get the right stuff when we need. It was, it was pretty rough on me. And, as you can see, we got a rip out of our jacket, because while we were sleeping out in the open... A uh, zombie came up and tried to eat us while we were sleeping, so that was that was not very good at all. Uh, as you can see, just look at all this. I had to cut down a lot of trees. Hey, there's a log over there. Also, I downloaded a couple more mods, so if you guys want to see what mods I've added to the mod list, uh, it's in the description. Uh, frequently check that because I'm going to be adding mods throughout the playthrough because, you know, I love them mods. I love them mods. Them mods really help. But uh, I also added uh, the Sandbox Plus mod. And that mod actually allowed me to edit the zombies a little more and stuff. So we I put uh, like a 0.5 chance of sprinters. So we got to keep an eye out for maybe a runner or two. Uh, so we're going to... And I also got the crossbow mod, which really, really want a crossbow. That'll help us kill zombies a lot. A lot, as a matter of fact. Make wood shingles. And apparently we need to be... We need to be at least a level 2. Before we can actually... Or in crafting. Before we can actually make it. And I realized that uh, apparently all these wooden sticks over here that we have... We didn't make them for nothing. It turns out we can actually turn those into crossbow bolts. So we have like a thousand crossbow bolts just laying there. So when we get... Uh, you know the right supplies for and leveling for the crossbow. Oh my god, we're gonna have crossbow bolts for days, and we're gonna be Daryl Dixon it in this mug. All right, well, I'm gonna start out by taking these bodies and putting them away from camp. Might help our situation. Drop the corpse. But as you can see, Isaac's camp's getting a little dirty. It's getting a little crowded. I'm probably going to, like, I'm going to get a trash can and bring it out here. And then we're just going to, like, you know, because they added a, the devs added it to where we can actually delete items in the trash can. And that'll really help keep our camp clean, because right now, it's kind of a fucking pigsty. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look that very nice. Hey, we got a plank over here, too. I did not see these. We got two planks over here. Sweet. So this episode, uh, also, I have a mod that allows me to make chip stones by smacking stones with hammers, which is pretty cool. It's realistic, I mean. So we should easily be able to keep making, like, like primitive weapons and axes and stuff. So I'm not trying, like I said, you know, I've never been about, like, trying to make my playthrough, you know, like, my games easier when it comes to mods. I try to make the game as realistic as possible. So I think being able to smack a, a stone with a hammer and make a chip stone is pretty realistic. But anyway, guys, uh, we're probably going to, I mean, just look at us. We're ridiculously tired. We're very depressed because no smokes. I hope we can find some cigarettes for him so he'll stop complaining. And we're just exhausted in general. So I'm probably just going to head to bed. And we'll start fresh in the morning. We'll head into town and try to find some carpentry books because we really need those out here. I want to find those because I am not. I am not grinding that hard again. That was rough on me. But anyway, I will see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, it is morning time now, we have awoke, luckily no zombie came into our camp and tried to eat us in our sleep, that is already a good start, but I'm not going to jinx myself because it could always be worse, it could definitely be worse, so from that being said, we're going to head into town today and try and find carpentry and we're not going the way we usually go because as you seen last episode that way was just pure awful and someone told me to use and i seen when you guys told me in the comment section sniper use quarterstaff and i looked at the updates for uh 
Hydrocraft? And they, I think they actually added models to it, so I'm definitely going to use it a lot more if it has a model. And it doesn't look like a plank. That's the main reason I didn't use it. It's because it looked like a wooden plank. And I'm like, oh yeah, Isaac's doing really well for himself. So we got four quarter staffs. Uh, so we'll use one of the good ones. Uh, equip in both hands. That looks pretty badass. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're going to use that. And then we can put this on our back. This will be our main weapon for now, and it's kind of weighing us down. We'll bring some food with us, because I, I've always made that mistake. Like, we never bring food with us, and then we get hungry while we're out on the run. So, we'll bring... Oh, <laughs> rotten processed cheese. Sure, we'll bring that. No, we'll bring a can of beans with us. And, alright, well, we're going to head into town now. Alright, guys, we finally made it. Now... By my calculation, I'm, I'm really hoping that there's not that many zombies this way, because, you know, we had a house alarm go off that way, I'm hoping they all kind of shifted, and, oh my, I'm already seeing some movement out there. Are they still going? Are they still migrating? So that's pretty crazy. There are zombies still moving, man. She, is, she ain't too much of a threat. Ha! You look just like the lady we killed. Uh, the first zombie we killed. Are they twins? Oh, dear God. Come on, Isaac. Okay, we got a couple over here. Might as well take them out, too. Oh, man. There's a trailer right there. We can check that one out. Depending on what the zombie situation that's a sprinter oh my god wow okay well there's the uh, the rare sprinter I was talking about god damn take that motherfucker out see okay I, I told you guys I have it set to where there's sprinters every once in a while and I'm kind of I'm kind of going with like a little RP like you know they were really fit in real life or you know they're like a really really fresh turn that's the way I'm going with it that's why I said it like that. Because I like having variety. So if you guys like variety and being able to, uh, you know, really go into detail. Like, you can already go into detail a lot with PC. But if you like that, I definitely recommend the Sandbox, Sandbox Plus mod. It'll let you do a bunch more with Sandbox settings. So there's the house we broke into, and it had an alarm. Which, the alarm is no longer, it's no more. So I think we should check it out. Now that we actually can. Alright. Are you a runner? Now I'm scared. Oh, it's a slow shambler. Slow shambler. We got the slow ones. We got the regular speed. Oh, you lost an ear, dude. Yeah, he ain't in good shape. He won't be in good shape after we kick his ass with this freaking quarterstaff. Maybe if he ever dies. Come on, dude. There you go. Get with the program. All right, try to lure Mr. Camo Shorts over there. I hear another one. No. Oh. See, I thought. Oh, they're slow. They're really slow. Oh, we got a fast. We got a. We got a fast shambler over here. All right, all right. We should be able to take him. He's faster than the rest, so we're gonna kill him in order. Kill him first. Fall over. Please. Please, God, fall over. You can't you can't just fall over for me. It's not possible. Kill this guy. I'm really gonna have to be on the lookout for sprinters after that. Because they could really run up and fuck our shit up if we if I'm not careful. Oh crap. I turned off the there you go. Ha! <laughs> He's standing on the other zombie and it won't get up. All right, step on his face. All right. All right. Kill this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I forgot. I got a sharp, sharpened screwdriver. Damn. Should we? Uh, I'm attaching that to my belt. We'll use that as like a knife. 
That's what we use that for. That's cool. But yeah, by the way, I got like like I said, I added to the mod list. Adds a couple more weapons in because I like variety, and I'm sure you guys will appreciate that as well. Because I love PZ to death, and the modding community, man, they're really helping bring this game, you know, even more to life than it already is. So I just can't wait, man. I just I just cannot wait to see more modders like come onto the scene. Like there's already a bunch of good mods out there. I'm just excited to see what they're gonna make, you know, through, over the years. One hit! Get down. Can you can you just die? I appreciate that. Thanks. All right, have we been looting these corpses? We might be missing out on a pack of cigarettes. Oh, a digital watch. I'd rather have that because uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but coming up in the in the, like a close build, I think you know it's gonna be really soon. Uh, they're actually going to allow you to wear jewelry and stuff, so I'm going to keep that. Because soon we'll be able to wear this watch. And we're going to look good wearing it. How about you just fall over for me? That'd be pretty neat. There you go. Okay, I think this weapon actually has like a push boost, so I'm going to start trying to shove zombies more. And we'll, we'll test that out. Yeah, so this is the house I broke into. I smashed this window right here. I believe, I don't know. All right, we're going in. Shut this door. Search it. Oh, we got electricity for electricity for beginners. That's all right. Backyard electronics. I hear a zombie. Where the fuck is that coming from? Please be the bathroom. Yep, it is. Why do you think I shut that? That shit right there. Oh, and we got another one coming in. Okay, all right, all right. Whoa! Okay, how did you do that? I was nowhere near you, lady. That makes no sense. Alright, we're gonna come out here and lead her out. She's got an axe in her head. We could use that. She's really slow, too. Alright, we're gonna shove her. See if that... Oh, yeah. That... This quarter staff. Quarter staff, I believe, yeah. It really helps with shoving. I mean, it makes sense. We're just crossing, you know, we're like checking them with the stick. It would just make sense that way. Like I said, I'm on a zombie crusade right now. I'm trying to kill as many as I can. Go to the backpack. Take this, this hand axe. We're definitely taking that, for sure, for a fact. Okay, we're getting a little... Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do like a little reconnaissance of the area. And there's a trash can. I kind of want to haul that back. But it's 10 pounds. Or it can hold up to 10 pounds. Alright, we got two back here. And that guy in the denim. Okay, he didn't see us. Alright, so we're just gonna finish searching this house. We're not gonna dilly dally around. Take our time. Shut the door and close this now that that window's broken. Okay. Nails. We are going to need nails for a fact. Gorilla Radio. Take it just because. Why not? Like I said, hot dogs. Taking that. We're going to roast. That's what we're doing tonight, guys. Isaac sees these. Isaac sees the pack of hot dogs in the fridge. And his eyes glow with joy. Because. Isaac has plans on roasting these hot dogs over the fire and eating them tonight, if he survives, that is. Which, hopefully we can make that happen. Uh, okay, we got three more bowls here, a whisk. We got plenty of water catching. All right, we got like a bunch of tin cans and stuff laid out back at the base, so we can easily catch more water. We got a zombie there. No problem, single zombie. Uh, okay, before we go over there, we need to eat something. Here, we'll eat this cauliflower. Oh boy. Lady, you do not want none of this. I'm just telling you now. I'm just telling you now. Look at that. One shove. And stop using. What? She just flopped. What? Okay. I hit her so hard she flopped. Alright, we ate the cauliflower. It gave us a little bit of strength. 
So now we're just gonna go over here and that lady got fucked up. Whoever you are, I'm sorry. Alright, one hit, she's down. Crush her skull. And what what this weapon is this that we're using? I think it's is it long blunt? It has to be long blunt. So we can really let if we level up our long blunt skill, like we're gonna be for you Walking Dead fans out there, we're gonna be like a Morgan. We're gonna have like like these these godlike quarter staff abilities. Run, he's gonna try to grab us. Fuck you. I missed. He's a runner too! He's a freaking runner. Damn! Oh, we just checked his ass! The zombie tries to sprint at Isaac. And Isaac smacks him so hard in the head, he falls straight back onto the ground. Crushing his skull in. After a good a few amount of stomps. Alright, he was a runner. I'm glad he was confined to the house. So yeah, we've already encountered two runners. I tried to make them rare, but... I mean, they are, you know. They're not too common, but they're, they're still here. They still have a presence, let's put it that way. So we that's something we have to watch out for. Is because those guys could really fucking... They could end us. They could end our career. Have we been in this house? I think we've been in this house. We have. Let's get out of here. Got a bunch of spices here, but that's not a necessity. I'm here for one thing, one thing only. I'm here for that carpentry book. I really hope we can find one. Because I really don't feel like grinding again. It's just too much. Too much. Is this open? No, of course not. Hello, lady. I'm behind you. Come on out. I'm walking far away so she can't grab us. Where are you going? Go back on the ground where you belong. We'll stomp your head in. Put you out of your misery. She's dead. Oh my god, it looked like a freaking hurricane came through here. Alright. Nothing in here. Nothing we need in this house. Useless. Well, we got food. We can go. Let's eat this glazed donut. Donuts are good. Do we eat it? What did we just eat? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, yeah. Another useless house. Well, that house was useless. Oh, and it's starting to get kind of late. You know what? Probably should head back. There is a good house there. That, you know what? We might actually just, like, camp out in a house tonight, maybe. If it's safe. Hoping there's not too many zombies in this neighborhood. I'm, I'm really hoping that it's kind of clear here. And hopefully this house is like open and it doesn't have an alarm. Because we might actually stay here tonight if that's the case. Alright, it's good. Alright, we'll search the kitchen. Toilet paper in the kitchen? Why so much? Oh my god. This is a COVID meme. Devs, you guys are freaking crazy. This is where all the, the butt paper went. Oh my god. You dead. They have it in the fridge too? Oh my god. This is why I love the Indie Stone. This is why I love the Indie Stone. You guys are fucking awesome. Just saying. That's the first time I've encountered this. I don't know if anyone else has. They probably have, but... If the whole house is full of toilet paper. You are kidding me! Oh my god! It is! Are you serious? I was hoping this was going to be a good house and the devs are just like, Here, have TP. Oh my god. That is freaking amazing. Alright, well I guess we're staying in the TP house. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to retire for the night and... uh. 
I'm gonna go take a three hour shit. I got plenty of butt paper, so I shouldn't have shouldn't have to worry about running out. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, it's morning time. Isaac kind of appreciated being able to sleep in the bed, but... In a bed. But... He prefers nature. And that's where he's going to go. It's raining outside. This house was useless because it was full of toilet paper. So, we're gonna try and find another house that's not full of fucking TP. Alright, you know what, we might find... Is this, is this car unlocked? It is. Doesn't have cigarettes in the glove compartment. Damn. You would think we'd find some by now. A sealed letter. Wish you could read them. That'd be pretty cool. Another sealed letter. Look at that. Digging through people's mailboxes. Look at their, looking at their mail. Isn't that a federal fence? I don't care. It's the end of times. Please don't have an alarm. I hear a zombie. Lady, what are you doing? Where did you come from? This this neighborhood looked empty. I'd rather her be... I hear more. How many more are in this neighborhood? That's what I'm... I'm kind of concerned now. I already ran into it. Though. Nothing. Matches. We could always use more. Always use more fire starter. Okay, there's got a couple down there. No big whoop, as long as they leave us alone. We cool? Alright. Now, can this house actually be filled with something good? Something useful? Shotgun shells? Well, we could use those for eventually when we get a gun. I'm not opposed to that. That was a good find. Got a lot of food here, but I just... I need a bigger backpack. I can't take all this food right now. We're here... For books. Are there any books in this house? It appears there aren't. Take that trowel. I don't even know if we have one yet. Damn. Like, I really want to just... Take food. Pretty bad, but... It's just we ain't got the space. We ain't got the carrying capacity. Alright, y'all just stay over there, okay? I'm gonna come over here to this house. This is probably the smallest house over here. I'm gonna come over here. And hoping it'll have books in it. And not an alarm. Damn, they're always locked. Come on. Come on, come on. There it goes. Is it alarmed? Okay, it's not. It's not. It's not. We're in good shape. Close that. Medium battery. Stack of cardboard boxes. Useless crap that I don't need. Alright. This house... This house was a wash too. You gotta be crapping me. All right, now we have no choice. We are now to come over here. Yeah, you know what? Get shoved. Now I'm zooming out to make sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh they're all three coming after me. They're all three coming after me. This lady's fast. Faster than the rest. Look, we got that range. We got that range. Shove. The shove game. Yeah. Shove game. Shove him over. I'm trying to kill your friend. Leave me alone. Can we shove three at a time? I'm not chancing it, though. Can we just kill one? That'd be pretty neat. That lady... Okay, alright, I thought she wasn't going to get up for a minute. That was going to really help me out. But of course, 
Hey, we killed one. Two. Come on. Now for three. All right. They're all dead. And they have nothing. Nothing. Postcard. Write note on postcard. <laughs> yeah. Write note on postcard. Send help. We're trapped in the quarantine zone. And we're like surrounded by people trying to eat our faces. Send help. Please. I hear a zombie in there. There is. Come on out, lady. Backing away so she can't grab us. You know what? Get back. Oh, wow. Insta-killed. Insta-killed. Oh, back door's open. Sweet. Now, like I said, this, this house has bookshelves. So, that's good. Of course! No carpentry. We're probably going to have to go to the school. And that is going to be suicide. Because the school, oh, it's always, it's always surrounded. Always. Every time. Big backpack? Damn. No luck. But there are other books here. We'll give them a, you know, we'll give them a glance. Book of poetry, we don't need that. Plastics. Health textbook. No. Toy making. Okay, so useless. This house was useless too. Gotta love it. Alright, so I think... Look at the... How the hell did that happen? I think there's another house over here, if I do remember correctly. Could have sworn there... Yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. Please, just one of these houses have carpentry book. I would really appreciate that. Because it'll just make our, you know make us level up 10 million times quicker. And, like I said, I want to build uh, like our own little... I, by the way, I have the more build mod added as well. So I want to build like a nice house out in the woods. From scratch, you know what I mean? We built that. We survived, you know? That's the type of, that's the type of goal I want. And eventually get electricity out there. Like I said, wilderness survival. We started from nothing. And then hopefully... We can have a kick-ass base through all the hard work and suffrage. Like I said, guys, Isaac West, he has plans, but it's just right now we're starting out. The apocalypse just happened. The world just fell apart. He's just trying to get his crap together right now. Can you open it, Isaac? His, his fingers are probably pretty wet from all the rain. Is it cool? All right, it's good. Hop in. Close that. Close the curtains. The curtains. Can you just close the curtains? Close them. Thank you, Isaac. Damn. Okay. Another hand axe. Uh, I'm I'm purp purp you know purposely fine. I'm just consistently grabbing these. Box cutter. I'm good. Don't need that in my life. A bottle opener. No, not really. Don't really need that either. Heavy cream powder. More junk. Please, bookcase. Help a brother out. Damn. Adult magazine. No. No, no, we can't. We can't. We cannot. We're not doing it. I can't believe that. We, all, the only company we need is... Our little rubber ducky. Comment section. Come up with a name with, for the rubber ducky. Because, oh crap, we can't rename him. Well, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Tell me, come up with a name for the rubber duck in the comment section. And a name that goes best with him, Isaac likes the best, he will pick. And that's what the name of the duck will be. Uh, nothing in this house. Nothing in this house, as usual. Nothing nothing we need, anyway. There's, there's a bunch of crap in here. All right. Hey, salt. I don't think we have salt. Salt doesn't spice. Yeah, salty spice. Oh, my God. Those are zombies. Like I said, I really, you know, like I said, the biggest thing, uh, you really, you really doing this right now? I don't think so. We're just going to ignore them. We need to head back. 
to our little shanty in the woods. You know what? No. No. We are going to find at least a carpentry book. And I might have to skip, because it might take me a minute. I might have to break into a million houses. But we're going to find a carpentry book before this episode is over. It's happening. So after I kill these two, I'm going to start that process. I'm going to start that trying to find carpentry process. All right. Pack of chewing gum. Don't need it. All right, guys. I'm going to go and attempt to find a carpentry book, and I will see you guys when I eventually find one, if I find one. All right, guys. So I couldn't find one, <clears throat> and kind of need to end the episode soon, so I'm, I'm going to head back to the base. But items of note that I did find, armor crafting. And we also broke our quarterstaff on a zombie's face. But I found armor crafting. Make helmet, make gauntlets, make arm guards. This is all with Hydra Craft. I don't know if it'll show up or not. But it's pretty damn cool that we found it. So maybe we can actually craft ourselves some good armor. So that is a big plus. And also I think we can actually craft like bigger backpack or something. So I'm going to figure all that out. But I'm going to head back to the base. And we'll probably end this episode when I get back. And I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we finally made it back to the base. It is really late at night. Making sure we didn't get followed. Alright, we made it back to the base. Sadly, we did not find carpentry book. Not, not even a regular carpentry book we didn't find. Uh, that's going to be the goal of the next episode. And we're definitely going to be heading to like further in because we're not going to find you know very many books out where we're at so we're probably going to head further head further into town next time on our looting run because the reason i want carpentry so bad is one <coughs> excuse me so we can get crossbow because <laughs> i'm obsessed to that now that i got the mod and i know how to make one i'm obsessed with getting a crossbow because it's going to make killing zombies a lot easier we don't have to get up so close and personal with them number two i want to start leveling our cra carpentry up so we can start building stuff as a matter of fact, while we're here, uh, just, you know, before we end the episode, I'm probably going to go ahead and get some plants in the works for us, at least, so we can have done something a little productive this episode, so. Where is my trowel? It's in my backpack, correct? Because I just found one. Yes, it is. Here it is. And we're going to plant some mystery seeds, whatever they are, because we have that mystery seed packet. I don't want to dig a grave. I want to dig. Dig furrow. So we're going to put our little garden area right over here in this clear patch of grass. We'll put it here for now. And we might actually want to open these seeds and see what they are before. So we know how many tiles to dig. Open them up. Plums. All right. We'll, we'll open them. Don't know how filling those are going to be, but eh, it's worth a shot. It's, you know, it's better than nothing. All right, so. Sow seed. Uh, can we plant plums? Is that a thing? Put seeds in packet, maybe? Okay, so... We got seeds we can't use! Awesome! Okay, well, if someone knows how to use these, please tell me, because I, I'm, I don't know. Plum seeds. Yeah, we can't use these, I guess, for now. That's strange. Yeah, not showing up. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please snipe that like button and subscribe. And if you have friends who like Project Zomboid and might like this series, share it with your friends, share it with your neighbor, share it with that creepy guy down the street. Who cares? Share it with everybody. Help spread the word of my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thank you.